Hey guys, Brent here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video of my collection of video games. Now I know with Daniel and Chang and Trevor, Hans, uh, Carlos and Travis, I've, I've talked to you guys extensively about video games, but I think I'd like to take the, this opportunity to actually show you my collection. I know uh, you guys from Montreal probably never had the chance to come down to Ottawa to see my games and uh, you guys in Kentucky will probably never have the opportunity to come up to Canada to see my games, so I thought I'd take this liberty to uh, show you some of my games and you guys can know where I'm coming from and uh, just like to share with you the joy that I've had collecting my games so far. If you guys from Montreal, I'd say about maybe 70% of my games are from uh, Blue Nose. So, just a quick video, no editing, nothing fancy, just a gonna fly through this and show you some of my favorite games and what games I have. So here we're gonna start with the Super Nintendo games. So come in my drawer as long as I don't knock this over. So as you'll see, just a small collection, but what's important to me as you'll kind of see throughout my collection is the names of the games, right? I'm not about quantity, I'm about the nicer games. So you know we've got uh, Super Mario Kart, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Mario Paint, Super Mario All-Stars, you know, Turtles in Time, Great Game, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, A Must Have, uh, Star Fox, Super Metroid, the classics, Mega Man X, you know, I've got the Street Fighters, the Mortal Kombat series, I've got a Super Game Boy player with Donkey Kong Land in it too. Let's get that in now. That's not important. So I've got some of the classics in here. Castlevanias, uh, some Madden, some sports games, and Trevor, I've got Shaq Fu, but it's in the mail right now. And actually, if you come down here, this is where I keep some of my rarer games. I don't really need to separate them, but I do anyways. So here I've got Super Mario RPG, one of the classics. Not many people know about it. If they do, they'll know it's a great game. I've got Chrono Trigger. Can't have a collection without Chrono Trigger. And finally, we've got the most expensive game on the six, on the SNES, Earthbound. I picked this up about two years ago or more now for 110. So it's not a cheap game to own. And also under there, in this binder, I've got the full collection of Pokemon cards. It's a must-have. So now we're going to go over here to the other part of my room. My nice drum set. I've taken liberty to lay out my, some of my Game Boy stuff. So as you'll see, I've got a Game Boy Pocket, a nice silver one. My first ever system or console or handheld, whatever you want to call it. My lime green Game Boy Color. And it's got Oracle of Ages. Oracle of Seasons in there, Legend of Zelda. This has Tetris, can't go wrong. And then here I have the gold, silver, special release Game Boy Color. So, I don't know if the camera can show it, but if you turn it one way, it'll look silver, and you turn it the other, it'll be gold. So as you can see, it's got Pichu and Pikachu on there, looking nice. That's got Crystal version in there. With my Game Boy collection, again, you'll see I've got the names. The Metroid series, the Zelda series, the Kirby series, Pokemon Red, in this little baggie I've got uh, Conker's Fur Day, a Conker game on the Game Boy, Castlevania Adventure, Kirby's Dream Land 2, Zelda games, Gold version, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've got Blue version of course. I've got a Game Boy Advance with Emerald in there, I've got Game Boy Advance SP, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, my favorite. My absolute favorite. You guys know that in Montreal. Got a box with a bunch of other games. Train, link cables. So you got the Mario series. I got another tactics. I got uh, Minish Cap. I got Metroid Fusion. I got the original Metroid. I got uh, Zelda 2. So now it's important that we come over here to show you the actual game closet. So here we see the bulk of my collection as I'm going to go through show you what's in it. So we'll start from the bottom. Uh, 
Over here is mostly just DVDs. I've got a few VHS of Pokemon. Underneath that, it's Guitar Hero. I've got a bunch of monster movies. Uh, in the back, the back stack is all Kung Fu movies. I think I have over 100 Kung Fu movies. Because they always come in collections of like five or more. Uh, I've got a lame ass uh, SpongeBob SquarePants here. Let me put this down. Because this is important. I've got a Mario Kart telephone. Completely functioning. It rings. It's a Mario Kart telephone. It's pretty awesome. Coming up here, I've got various things. I've got a Super, my Super Nintendo. I've got the Super Nintendo mouse pad for Super Mario Paint. And I come over here. My Nintendo 64 is the Atomic Orange. I didn't intentionally get it like that. My parents got it for me when I was younger for Christmas, and that's the one they got. Uh, in the back are my boxes of cables. I've got a box here of all Atari stuff. Uh, the joysticks, the roller pads, uh, whatever other accessories needed. I've got my box of 64 controllers, 64 Xbox controllers, the Wiimotes, uh, everything like that. And finally, in the back back, I've got um, guidebooks, old cheat books that I used to buy on uh, Scholastic and stuff. I've got a splitter here for my various systems. At one point I had seven systems running to one TV, so that's not bad. So we come up one, we've got PlayStation 1 and Xbox. So there's some PS1 games in there. I've got two PS1s. Don't ask how I got the cro them. Came across both. The Xbox original, one of my favorite systems. And then all these back here are PlayStation 1 games, just collected. Uh, here I've got some of the, the thicker double ones that don't fit in the CD holder. So I've got Final Fantasy 7, uh, 7, 8, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and a Caesar's Palace game. That's pretty lame. But we come up. So this is my most packed shelf. So I've got right in front, I've got the Atari Junior, Atari 2600 Junior. So it's more rare than the classic Heavy Sixer with the wood paneling. Uh, this one was a nice purchase I got. Behind it, I've got the some of my NES games. So I've got Legend of Zelda 1 and 2, Mega Man 2, Final Fantasy, Metroid, as you can see. Bandit Kings of Ancient China, it's a pretty rare game, but it's also a shit game. Uh, I've got Mario down there. I've got Donkey Kong, it's the Double Dragons. I've got Turtles. Uh, if I can... All of this. Let me take these down. I've got Atari games. I probably have over 50. I mean, like I said, I'm not a collector. I've got a lot of the classics. Over here, I've got my most, I guess, valuable ones. I've got E.T. at the bottom, the worst game of all time. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, the Pitfall series, Frogger, Space Invaders, Asteroids. You get the idea. Now behind that, I have my PS2 games, and they go all the way to the bottom of the shelf. So I've got all the classics, the God of War series, Mega Man X, you can see San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Soul Calibur, Gran Turismo, whatever series you want, I've got it. Uh, Guitar Hero 1, 2, and Rock the 80s, a Harvey Birdman game. I've got some boxed uh, Nintendo 64 games, Donkey Kong Country, Snap and Castlevania behind that. I've got my Xbox games. Again, one of my favorite systems. Fable was one of my favorites. Uh, Far Cry, Halo 2, Half-Life, Jet Set Radio Future, if you know me, one of my favorite games. I've got two copies of Doom there, Underground 1 and 2, and on the top it's the Doom uh, BFG edition, so it's an expansion port. And of course, Daniel, I love my Nintendo 64, so I've got a lot of 64 games. I've got Kirby, Zeldas, uh, F-Zero, you see Tony Hawk in blue, Tony Hawk in yellow. I've got Goldeneye, I've got Perfect Dark, I've got Super Smash, I've got uh, every important game, quintessential game that you can think of for the 64. I definitely own it. Over here in front is my Sega Dreamcast. That's the most recent edition I have. And here's a little list of uh, the few games I have. I've got Jet Grind Radio, 
Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, Marvel vs. Capcom, Street Fighter Alpha 3, excuse me. And Mortal Kombat Gold, I've got, I hate the Nintendo Wii, so I only have those games, and I have Resident Evil 4, but it's with a friend. So I get the, I guess the better games, the name games. And then the final shelf, I was trying to keep this quick, but it's 10 minutes, is um, some various stuff. The Wii, as you can see, is back there in its box as it should be because it's a piece of shit. I've got two Nintendos stacked. I've got a zapper, various cables, all kinds of crap. Uh, one Nintendo wasn't working. I get another. It doesn't really work. Then the other one works. It's kind of on and off. And then I've got the cube with the Game Boy Player in the bottom. Um, one controller. I think I have another one. And some of the better games, again, for the system, I'm sure people will say that uh, there are good games out there. More than I'm missing. I don't even have Pikmin 1. But I like what I have for right now, and it's fine. I don't play the cube that much. And uh, I think that's it, folks. But I just want to show you the base of my collection. And for the most part, what I own. Uh, just to give you guys an idea of where I'm coming from, I guess. I ta I've talked a lot about video games, and... This is what I'm working with. I keep them organized and I keep them tidy, so I enjoy them all very much and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video just as much as I've enjoyed collecting these. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night.